Well, hey guys, this truck is taking me to some really cool places. It's taking me on some wonderful back roads, some great city and state parks, and then some wonderful natural wildlife areas. But there's a limitation because often once you get there, you can't go any farther because the roads are closed to motorized vehicles. Well, I just picked up something that's going to let me go beyond the parking lots and really explore the scenery and uh, the trails that these places have to offer. So stick around and I'll show you what I got. These are the electric XP 3.0 e-bikes. We purchased the bikes outright and we're not affiliated with the company at all. I just wanted to make that clear as I share my impressions and thoughts on the bikes. They came shipped fully assembled and basically ready to ride. Just double check the fasteners for tightness, add a little air to the tires, insert the seat, insert the handlebars, adjust them for the right height and you are ready to roll. They do come with a bunch of these safety notices too, so give those a once over as well. We purchased a step through model and a standard or step over model. There's a couple of things you should know about the differences between these two bikes and I'll get to those in just a bit. Well it's been a few weeks since we received the e-bikes and first I gotta say I'm super impressed with them. They are a ton of fun. My wife and I are having a great time. I also think this design of e-bike is going to really fit our needs very well. Uh, it's going to be great for riding around the neighborhood and uh, hitting a lot of the bike trails that are close to home. The, the way it uh, folds up, which I'll show you in a bit, is an awesome feature. It's going to be great for taking this bike along on those back road drives that I do. And it's also going to be a, a nice little bike for uh, exploring the campgrounds the next time I'm on a campground adventure, that's for sure. My wife and I have been contemplating e-bikes for a while, and when I saw these down at the Moore Expo, I was really intrigued. The solid look of them, the fat tires, and the ability to fold were features that I liked quite a bit. We went online and we did our research, and that basically clinched the decision to buy. The reviews of the electric and their entire line of e-bikes was very, very good. We found lots of positive comments on the ride and build quality, the ease of use and the performance, and the customer service when things just didn't work like they should. Well now you know why we bought the bikes, but what is it that makes this bike such a joy to own? I have to say the list of standard features on this bike is just amazing. For bikes that are similar, you'd be paying a lot more money than what you're paying for the $1,000 price point on this bike. Since we were just getting into e-bike ownership, we stuck with the standard features available and the list is quite extensive. A 48 volt lithium ion battery, which is good for a range around 45 miles or so. A 500 watt hub motor with 55 newton meters of torque, coupled with a 20 amp controller. Shifting is done through a Shimano 7 gear drivetrain and derailleur with an 11 to 28 tooth freewheel at the rear hub. You get five levels of pedal assist with enough power and speed for the bike to qualify as a class one, two, or three e-bike. There's a right hand throttle to deliver power on demand and front and rear disc brakes. There's an adjustable front suspension and 20 inch by 30 inch fat tires for a smooth ride on paved and gravel trails. The rear rack is a welded on design and is good now for up to 150 pounds. Another nice feature about this bike is how easy the LED screen is to use. At the top you've got how much juice you have left in your battery. There is your speedometer telling you how fast you're going. This is the amount of pedal assist you have. I can make it go up and down here like that. And then here is the mileage that you've gone so far, your odometer. Only 38 on this one, got a long ways to go. We did opt for the comfort package when we bought these bikes. That means they come with a larger saddle that is softer sprung and a seat post that actually has a shock built in it as well. Another feature that we got that you probably noticed was the uh, blue panniers. They're, uh, they're like a roll top all season uh, bag, very much like a Wolfman luggage bag if you're similar with those. Uh, waterproof, dustproof, and a great way to haul camera gear around or anything else that you just don't want to get wet. 
We did get a notice just recently too from Electric that says that our bikes qualify for the new hydraulic disc brake upgrade with 180 millimeter rotors and the new electric pedal assist wattage regulation. This will provide smoother power delivery while boosting the e-bike's efficiency and range. Okay, so that takes care of the nuts and bolts of why this is such a great bike, but why is it a good option to buy? Why is it a good option for us? I think the ability to fold this bike is absolutely huge. We can put both folded bikes into the back of my truck or they'll easily go into my wife's RAV4. Some people like to put the folded bikes into large totes to make carrying them around a little bit easier. Well, all right, I've got the bike in the car, but there's a couple of things I didn't really consider, but I'm glad I had with, is when you're putting the bike in the back seat, you gotta be careful that you don't get any of the grease from the chain on the seat. I've got an old blanket down here, and that's doing the trick. So again, if you're gonna pack it in the back seat of a car, make sure you have an old blanket down just to protect them. Again, I'd like to carry this in the back if I can and still get the tunnel covered. If I lay it flat, um, it might work, but I don't want it bouncing on the hard bed. So I might have to repurpose like an old dog bed or something. I'm still not sure I'll be able to get the tunnel cover covered uh, or tunnel cover back on if I've got it laying flat. Not sure I want it laying flat and then bouncing out too. It could be a little bit hard on the bike. Uh, but it does work back here again with the blanket on the seat and just putting things in this car. Just be careful. The, uh, the door openings in the back of the Nissan Frontier are a little narrow. Uh, so when you put it in, just be careful that you're not uh, hitting any plastic pieces or, or anything like that. Just take your time and you'll be fine. You could also decide just to leave the bike open and carry it on a standard bike carrier that goes into the trailer hitch in your car or truck. Now I might do that, but I might have to get like a cover of some sort to keep the dust off it if I'm hitting some gravel roads. When you take the compact size and mix it with the large fat bike tires, you also get a bike that is perfect for exploring almost every terrain. The bike does awesome on paved routes, gravel roads, old train line paths, whatever kind of service, it just does awesome. If you stop at a city park, just leave the truck and explore on a bike. If your rooftop tent is up and camp is all set up, just jump on the bike and go check out what's in the woods around you. So the big clincher for us was the pedal assist that comes with the bike. Now there's five levels that you can set depending on how much uh, effort and assistance you want, but you can definitely set it so you're still getting a workout on the bike. Yep, it's going to help you get up the hills and on some of the uh, roads to move quicker than a standard bike, but you're definitely still going to be able to get the exercise if that's what you're looking for. And that was important to us. So earlier I mentioned that there are some differences between the step through and the step over standard bike and they're probably something you should consider. The first difference is the battery. While they deliver the same power, they're not interchangeable between e-bikes. The batteries are designed just a bit differently and are specific to either the step through or standard model. Both these bikes can be charged while the battery is in the bike or you can slide the batteries out and charge them that way as well. Second is the ground clearance when the pedal is at its lowest point in rotation. The standard bike has just a bit more clearance and that's something to consider and to be aware of if you get a little bit off the beaten path. All right, so another thing that really impresses me about the company Electric is their customer service. We had our bikes ordered and delivered just before Mother's Day and uh, we're super happy with them and uh, we got the comfort package. 
When Mother's Day came, we had noticed that they were giving away the comfort package for free if you'd ordered. And then later on, they had a Memorial Day special, which was some other accessories that were free. I contacted them and said, hey, it looks like we ordered just before you had these great offers in May. Is there anything you can do? Now, initially they said, well, we're sorry you kind of ordered uh, a little bit too early. But uh, we kind of chatted back and forth, very friendly. And sure enough, they said, you know what? Uh, you're good customers and they are sending us the Memorial Day package for free, which means we're gonna be getting a bike lock, some bar and mirrors, and phone holders for each one of our bikes for free. They didn't have to do it, but they just decided it was the right thing to do, and I'm super impressed with them, and for that, I definitely would buy another bike from them. Just that, it's those simple things that mean a lot. Well, there you have it. That is the electric XP 3.0 foldable electric bike. Now, this isn't your typical uh, Nissan Frontier parts review or your overlanding parts review. It's just a great bike that you might want to consider the next time you're going to go out uh, on an adventure. It's a great bike to have on the campground. It's a great bike to have in the truck. If you stop at a park or if you stop uh, at the access of a biking trail or something like that, it's just a great way to get to those new places that you can't reach with the truck. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share and give it a like. That would be great. A subscribe helps me out too. And uh, it's, just, uh, it's just a great day to go for a ride. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. See you down the road. Take it easy.